Hello and welcome to Soft Expert. In today's video, I'll be showing you how you can create an e-commerce website using WordPress and using the normal Gutenberg editor. Now, I normally create videos about Elementor, and I have showed you that how you can create a website using Elementor. So you can visit my channel, and I have videos about how you can create multi-vendor e-commerce website, simple e-commerce website, and these are just by using Elementor and just by drag and drop. But in this particular video, we're going to focus on how we can create a website using the normal Gutenberg and not by using Elementor. And the reason for this video is WordPress 6.3, where they have launched many features for Gutenberg editor including the site navigation, styles, pages, which is everything by the site editor. We also have some patrons and header and footer builders, galleries and texts. And we can work with Gutenberg now faster and we can add posts, we can add pages, we can add headers. So I decided to make a video that how you can create a website using Gutenberg and not by using Elementor. So let's get started. The first thing is obviously you need a domain and hosting for your WordPress website. So for that I'll recommend you to go to the link in the description which is this one. And this will take you to hostinger.com where you can get a proper hosting with a free domain. You can just go to WordPress and here you can scroll down and you will see these plans. Now you can choose the plan that you need like you can choose this one, this one or this one. These are very affordable prices and these are the features that you will get. So here you will get a free email, unlimited SSL, unlimited bandwidth, free domain, free CDN and so on. So just click add to cart and it will take you to this page where you can buy this hosting for 1 month, 12, 24 or 48 months. So the more time you choose the more discount you will get. Here you can see you can save up to 576 USD. So just scroll down, write your email or you can log in with your Facebook or Google. Then you can pay with credit card, PayPal, Google Pay, Alipay and so on. And by the way, if you are from Pakistan, that link will take you to hostinger.pk and you can see the amount in rupees. If you go to Wordpress, you will also see the pricing in rupees. And if you go to cart, then here you can see you can pay with EasyFaceR, JSCase, Alpha Wallet and HBL. So these are some payment methods that you can use from Pakistan. Here you can scroll down and you can pay for this hosting. And once you get this domain and hosting, you will need to install WordPress on your domain. And again, you can go to my channel and you can search for install WordPress and you will see lots of videos about WordPress installation. So you can install WordPress on Hostinger by watching this video, okay? And once you install WordPress, you will see a dashboard like this. And this is the WordPress dashboard where you can install themes and plugins and you can start creating the website. Now let's see how we can create an e-commerce website using WordPress and using Gutenberg editor. So the first thing is we will need a theme. Now there are lots of themes available in WordPress repository if you go to appearance and themes. And here you can see 5864 themes. These are free themes that you can use and you can install. The one I recommend is Bloxy theme. If you don't find this then you can search for Bloxy here. And this is the best free theme I recommend and you can just install and activate this. And once you activate this plugin, you will see this notice to install this plugin. This is a Blacksea companion plugin, so just install and activate this. And by activating this plugin, you can use some features of Blacksea themes. Like you can use their extensions, like cookie consent, newsletter and so on. And you can also import their ready-made starter sites. And these are some starter sites that you can import with one click and then you can customize based on your needs. Now the reason for choosing this theme is this is compatible with, with both Elementor and Gutenberg. And every website you see here will be available for Gutenberg and Elementor as you can see. So you can pick the one that you need. Now this is for restaurant, this is for photo studio, wood and so on. And as we are creating an e-commerce website, so we will pick this one, home decor. This is available for Gutenberg and Elementor and let's just import this. If you want to see a live review of the website, you can just click on preview. And this is the website that we can get with one click. Here you can see on the top we have this header with the logo, navigation menu, the cart icon, the user icon. And this is a slider by the way. And we have this section. We have some categories. Then some products. This section and so on. So this cool homepage is available for free. You can just import this and then you can customize. You can also visit all these pages. I will provide a link to this theme in the description. If you want to check the products, you can go to products page. And here are the products that people can add to cart and can buy. We can filter these by prices. We have popular products and so on. By the way, in the next video, I'll show you how you can create product grids, product sliders, category sliders using Gutenberg for free. Okay, so stay tuned for that. 
and uh, now let's see how we can get this website with one click so again let's go back to our WordPress dashboard and this is the demo that we need so go here and click on import and here you can check on this to install the child theme the benefit of the child theme is you can do some custom codes you can modify the theme files and you can keep your changes even after theme update so you can install child theme and then click on next and here you can choose a page builder so as i said this theme is compatible with elementor and gutenberg and as we are using gutenberg in this video so i'll choose gutenberg and we'll click next and then these are some plugins that are required for that demo so let's just select all and click next and then just click on install now this will install all those plugins and will import that demo content so let's wait for this and now you can see start a site importing successfully you can go ahead and customize the theme or you can visit your website so let's visit the website and check it and you can see my domain name and we got the whole website along with the logo navigation cart icon search icon and the whole home page with all the demo products these are some more products and these are some latest news like the blog posts and the footer and let's check all the pages like services so we have the complete services page and also all the demo products so this was how you can create an e-commerce website using Gutenberg and using Bloxy theme this was very simple and free now let me quickly show you how you can customize this website ok so again if you want to make changes to any page you can go to that specific page let's say the home page and you can just click on edit page this will edit that particular page and you can also access this from your dashboard ok so let's go to our dashboard we can close this or just go to dashboard and here you will notice that we installed blocks theme this is block slider which is a plugin for the slider we have WooCommerce plugin for selling products we have product tab payments and some more options so these are basically due to the plugins we installed now let's go to pages and here you will see all the pages that you can edit again you can edit home page you can edit my account page privacy policy pages and so on so let's say i want to make changes to home page i can just click on edit and now we are editing the home page okay you can see the title we can edit this section we can edit any of these sections just my drag and drop so let's say you want to change this title i can just click on it and i can change it something like this okay let's remove this so this was how you can change the title here you can click on the text and the same way you can change the text and you can also click on an icon and you can change it let's click on it and now we can use any of these icons or we can search for a particular icon and this is a column structure so you can increase and decrease the column width so you can click on it and you can increase and decrease the width or you can just change it from here and you can press command z or control z to undo your changes and same goes for all these sections okay and this is a short code for the products that you can get from WooCommerce or you can just use this and same goes for this text and if you want to change this background you can click on it and you can go to style this is the background you can open this and you can click on it you can upload your own image or you can select from media library like from your existing images and you can also drag any image here from your computer and you can use that let's leave this for now and this is some review so if you click on this you can change its styling you can change this title this text you can change this image and you can change the name and so on and you can also add more sections to this page so to add another section you can click on this plus and here you can see stackable this is another page builder plugin that you can use if you hover on any section you will see a preview this is accordion this is block code buttons so you can use these call to action social icons icon boxes and so on and you can scroll down you can add an icon image boxes notifications like these blog posts number boxes and so on i will not cover all these things in details because the video will get lengthy but you can use any of these just by dragging here so in this way you can customize the home page and at the end you will just need to click on update to save your changes 
and you can see page updated let's view this we only have changed a title here so this is the title so this was how you can make changes to the pages if you want to make changes to the products you can go to your dashboard from here then you can go to products and here you will see all those products now these are some demo products but you can add your own actual products and you can sell them and if you want to edit any of these you can click on edit and here you can change the product title the product description and the product price the sale price the product image the product gallery you can add product categories and here you can click on add new you can choose any of them and again at the end you can click on update to save your changes let's open this product to show you i'll click view product and we'll open this and new tab so this is the product image you can see you can zoom this this is the product title the price this is the sale price the product description and we can add this to cart we can change the quantity here we can add this to cart and we can buy this okay so you can change all these things by just go to edit product and you can make the required changes and if you want to add a new product you can go back and here you can go to products add new and again you can write your product name description you can add your product main image product gallery images you can choose a category you can write a price for that and in this way you can add your own product and once someone buy a product from you you can go to commerce you can go to orders and there you will see the order we don't have any order for now because this is a new website and also you can manage your customers you can add coupon codes you can go to settings you can add shipping methods and so on now commerce is a very lengthy topic so i'll not cover everything in this video and what else and if you want to make changes to a header and a footer you can go to customize okay and if you don't see this bar you can go to dashboard and here you can go to appearance and click customize and this will open customization page here you can customize the menu the header the footer and the logo and this is also very simple if you want to change the logo you can go here and click on these three dots and here you can upload your own logo just click on it and you can choose any of these images or you can upload your own let me upload one image okay let's upload this logo so i'll just drag this and this will add that image to my media library you can see here and then we'll click on select and now i have changed the logo successfully and same goes for the navigation menu if you can you can click on it you can make changes to design if you want to make changes to the menu itself you can go back scroll down go to menus and this is our menu so you can open this and you can add and remove any page you want let's say i don't want blog page so i can click on it and i can remove this and that's it and in the same way you can make changes to these icons you can click on it and you can change its design like the color of this and the user icon you can also change these icons here you can change the icon size the icon color and so on this is the cut icon you can also change this let's say i want this one you can see our cut icon change same goes for the footer you can click on edit and again you can change the logo and the text you can change this text so these are links you can link this to any page you can add your contact details and so on you can also change the copyright by clicking here and you can remove this and this is the site title this is coming from my dashboard which i'll show you later on and that's it and at the end you can click on publish to save your changes now let's visit our website again so you can see our logo has been changed we have changed this icon and so on by the way this is a complete website with all the pages like about services products even contact page where we have these contact details and we have this contact form if someone fill this up we will get an email and they can contact us so this was how you can create an e-commerce website using wordpress and using gutenberg editor and this is how you can customize your website and how you can add and remove your products and in the next video i'll show you how you can customize this product how you can give it another look how you can display product sliders category sliders and product lists and so on so stay tuned for that video and to learn more about WorldFace and Elementor, you can visit my channel. I have lots of videos about WorldFace, Elementor and WooCommerce. And still, if you have any questions about this video, you can ask in the comment section. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next.